So there's a lot of talk about how to run organizations. And people who are smart about this separate out management and leadership. And they talk about management as things like the science of administering a business. And it has this very best practices kind of uh, theme to it. And I hate those terms. And I can hate them because I was a consultant. So I'm, I always make fun of consultants and business school students because I was both. But it has that very consultant thing. But it really is the kind of one plus one equals two. If I do this, the company does this. If I do this, the company does that. It's a science. And then there's this leadership thing. And this leadership thing always has this kind of more art or more magical idea towards it. And what it is, I think, you know, it's the art of administering a business so that people, uh, sorry, the art of accomplishing more than the science of management teaches you is possible. With management and with authority and with, you know, structures all businesses and organizations have, you can get people to do things. You work for me, I ask you to do A, you're likely to do A. But while you can get compliance, you can't get passion. You can't get true excitement. That's what leadership is. Leadership is ha helping people or finding a way to convince a group of people that are working together on something, or in some cases aren't working very well together, to follow what the mission is, what you want, to follow whatever it is with true enthusiasm. And it is that enthusiasm which transcends science, which makes it seem like one plus one equals three, not two. So people talk a lot about, well, how do you get there? How do you be a great leader? And I think it's a lot of things, and I don't pretend to have the answer. But it's a bunch of things about who you are as a person. People follow people they respect and trust. If you don't have respect and trust, you don't have any hope of being a great leader. Some of the stuff are skills you can learn. People look at people who are great speakers, who are really convincing orators, and they say, wow, I want to follow that person. People who can tell great stories, great narratives. But when you take all the personal stuff aside, there's something else that's really important to great leadership, which is the purpose of the leadership. And that's what I mean by scaling a vision. That you can lead all day long, but if you're leading people to, you know, make soap, that's important. But does it have that, I want to follow this, I want to, you know, serve this mission until the end of my life, I want to stay up all night and work all day to serve that mission. It's having a great vision that I think becomes the basis of real leadership. And that vision has to be one that scales, that can take you from where you are to the more than foreseeable future.